Ukraine tops the agenda at NATO. At the alliance's Brussels headquarters, defense ministers from member states have begun a two-day meeting where they will be discussing the situation in Ukraine and Russia's aggression there. Last night, NATO again stated that Russia was supplying heavy weapons to the militants in eastern Ukraine in large quantities, including modern tanks and ground-to-air missiles. NATO again affirmed Ukraine's independence and said it supports all efforts to implement the Minsk ceasefire agreement. On Friday in Germany, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg will meet with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov for the first time since Stoltenberg took up the alliance's top job.